Hey guys, Kid Gear here for the Tech World and Megabyte TV. I got a video for you guys today on an overview of Firefox 3.5. I gotta show you what's new, uh, what features you know they added, and some new stuff that's coming for Firefox, and a lot of cool tweaks and stuff like that that you may want to consider. Um, as you know, I always love to do my Firefox videos, uh, you know, showing what's new in the versions, and 3.5 is a really, really big update. Um, so I'm an avid user and supporter of Firefox, so if you're still on Internet Explorer, I really recommend you use Firefox. I know a lot of people use Chrome or Safari, but uh, I like Firefox. It's fast, efficient, and it has a great community of uh, people who, you know, uh, develop great add-ons and stuff like that. So 3.5 is out, and um, there's a list of features that are new. Um, you know, just to name, uh, first off, I want to name the faster JavaScript. They've enabled uh, TraceMonkey, which is their JavaScript engine, uh, which the browser is almost twice as fast as the previous, uh, you know, version. And it's really, really, uh, you know, quick and loading web pages and stuff like that. For example, I'll just go to google.com. I mean, just pages with JavaScript mainly, you know, they load great, they load quick, and I'm not even signed into my iGoogle account. I was hoping that would load up, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, JavaScript pages load up quicker, and, you know, it varies, again, in your internet connection, but, uh, just, you know, the way stuff pops up, uh, you know, you, you'll notice a difference, especially if you're using a browser like Internet Explorer or something like that. The next, uh, feature I want to mention they upgraded is geolocation. So, if you were to go to a site, like, uh, any site like Flickr, Maps, or anything like that, um, it may ask for your loc. It's going to ask for your location now. The browser is going to ask for your location. This, uh, helps with, you know, um, if you know you want the br people want to see where you are and you know Flickr group something like where you took the picture uh, you know geotagging the browser it's all built in now now some people may not like that because they don't want the browser you know giving information of where they're located um, so I'm going to show you how to dis disable geolocation um, and uh, again so if you're if you're not going to use geolocation you think you really don't need to. Um, then you know you don't want to be sharing where you're located on you know certain sites. You're going to head to about colon config, and you know again this may void your warranty. Just a little warning. Um, I'm just gonna say that because I really don't need to. I want that to show next time. And just say I'll be careful. I promise. And right here, go into the filter and search geo, and um, you'll see it right here. Geo enabled. Now, right now, mine's enabled, but I'm going to go ahead and toggle that to false. Now, it's not going to ask me if I go to a site that has geo uh, geolocation if, uh, you know, I want to give my location. Because really, I don't want to be giving out my location on most sites anyway, and I won't be, you know, needing that. So, after you do that, just, uh, you know, toggle it off to false or double-click it, and then restart your browser, uh, start it back up, and you should be fine. Okay, another um, a thing that they have changed is, um, what do you call that? history changes a lot of cool changes that they've done to history you know how the browser deals with uh, pages you visited or in the past or anything like that a lot of really cool changes so first off um, they've added something that you've all known from uh, uh, what do you call that Chrome Safari etc and that's private browsing so if I go to I believe it's in tools yeah uh, if you control shift P that enables you into private browsing and that's just something if you don't want you know anybody to see what you've been browsing lately you know if you're on a family computer or anything like that or you know uh, anything at all even if you uh, install the portable version of Firefox which is available the portable 3.5 and you take this to a friend's house or something uh, private browsing doesn't save any cookies history and you know anything you've download anything at all it doesn't give you uh, any you know no data at all is saved and as soon as you exited you know everything is a you know nothing everything that was stored was erased you know there's nothing at all to you know leave a trace that you were even searching anything with the private browsing so really cool feature if you've used chrome you've uh, known this now that's not all they've added um now this is a uh, tab ta what do you call it tab mix plus so don't worry about these session manager options here but um now something right here clear recent history now uh you may i believe this was there before but not the way they've uh, added the you know implemented uh the time feature so now you can r uh clear time you know recent time ranges of history so for example if i want to clear the last 2 hours of history and that can give me details uh, i can if i want logins site preferences cache etc I can clear everything I've uh, viewed within the last two hours, everything I downloaded, anything like that. I can do it for today, everything, last four hours, really, really cool stuff, guys. So if you want to delete a certain amount of time that you've been browsing, then, you know, that's um, really uh, specific. 
Now another thing they've added is a for this feature called forget about this site. Now if you go into the history here, there's a um let's say you were uh, I th believe the example they used on the site was if you bought like a present for somebody online and you really don't want them seeing it, but again, uh, if you delete the whole history on your uh what do you call that on your uh what do you call history you know what do you call uh, I guess just history is the best way to describe it. If you delete your whole history, it's going to be pretty suspicious. They're going to be wondering, you know, that goes for anything, whatever you're searching. Uh, if you delete your whole history, some people are going to get suspicious. Now, you could uh, you could still have obviously go and singly delete a site, um, but rather than doing that, you know, let's say you have multiple searches on, like, any, you know, Amazon about the certain gift that you've been getting somebody, you can delete it. But, or you can uh, click the site, uh, this little feature right here called Forget About the Site, and it's going to delete everything that has to do with, you know, Amazon.com, YouTube.com, anything that has uh, YouTube.com, Amazon, it's going to delete it all. That way, uh, that one site specifically is deleted out of your history rather than you having to go through and bookmarks, but you can do that now. Um, HTML5 supported video format, so once uh, you see sites uh, starting to be coded with HTML5 and stuff like that, and incorporated with AUG video and stuff like that, uh, Firefox has um, built-in support for it. It can do really cool stuff, play, pause, you can even download the video, uh, rescape. There's a lot of questions I've gotten about this and some stuff I've noticed. If uh, you downloaded H uh, <laughs> Firefox 3.5 and your add-ons aren't working, there is a way to get them working if you really, really uh, need them. Now this, um, I'll give you a warning heads up, can, you know, uh, mess around with your browser. You may see, uh, you may he uh, get some wacky behavior. But if your add-on does not have the new version, um, what you want to do is head to about colon config, and then you're going to want to hit uh, right click and hit new go to boolean and you're going to want to copy this in right here uh, I'm gonna copy it on my it's on my notepad here um, extensions dot check dot compatibility you're going to hit ok and set it to false I'm not going to do that because I, I guess I could because I really don't need right now but so I'm going to go to extensions right here uh, dot check compatibility and I would set it to false but I really don't need that key so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that now or actually just set it to true um, so uh, next one is extensions dot check update security. This is what we'll do. Even if you have compatibility check off add-ons, uh, they update for security. You know if there's any flaws in the add-on that need to be you know updated, it's gonna check for that too. So you're gonna need to make another boolean and name it extensions dot check update security. I'll leave this in the video description to the right. And of course. Okay guys, two really quick things I forgot to mention and I want to add are two things that are coming up for Firefox that are in the working that 3.5 has, uh, you know, really uh, made a new platform for the Firefox, you know, the stuff out there that's going to be added to it. And uh, 3.5 is pretty much the starting point of all the stuff that's to come. One of that thing is called Weave. Weave, basically, if you've used Foxmarks or anything like that, it's going to be able to sync all your Firefox type of data. And they have a really cool little diagram here that shows you, uh, uh, you know, what it is and how it works. It can sync your bookmarks, your website history, and put it out not only to your different browsers among, you know, your laptop, your workstation, wherever, um, your office, but it can also do it to your mobile phone using the new browser. So it has a whole bunch of stuff here that you can check out, an overview of the idea. I'm not going to get too in-depth through it, but basically it shows a nice little diagram here of how it, um, can, uh, you know, really just take all your stuff and, uh, you know, sync it out there with different, uh, multiple things. Check it out. It's a cool new thing coming up for Firefox in the very near future. Now, another thing I want to really quick mention before this video is up is TasFox. Basically, all the Ubiquity stuff, I've talked about Ubiquity a lot. It's a really cool thing developed by Aza Raskins uh, and a Mozilla Lab thing. This will be coming up um, probably very, very soon. It, uh, probably 3.5 updates as updates come. They'll implement this or maybe in 4.0. But this is something where they've implemented the ta uh, ubiquity commands within the actual, uh, what do you call that, t uh, address bar of, uh, what do you call it, Firefox. And so, for example, if I was to type in calculate, and I can't even spell it right, there you go, calculate, I'll say 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now, this is all within um, the, you know, address bar of Firefox, and this will be coming very soon. And if you've seen my video on Ubiquity, I'll leave a link in the right, you'll see a lot of cool stuff. So, for example, Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia, the word book, for example, it's going to give me live results. 
I can go to the page by clicking that arrow. I can even drag it out to use it as a little widget here. You can do stuff like track flights, use Twitter, video searching, a whole bunch of cool stuff to come. So when this is out, guys, I'll be sure to do a video on this. Check out my Ubiquity video. This will be coming to Firefox in the very soon, uh, very near future, I should say. Uh, 4.0 possibly, or even uh, 3.5 updates along the way. Anyways, guys, thanks for viewing this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy your Firefox install. Hope it works effectively and productivity, product, productive for you guys. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out the website at adriansec.com. Thanks for listening.